constellation will be waiting for you at the lodge. How may I be of service? Your memory is uncanny. And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. I would try to view portal. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Anything I can help you with? Hey, kind of breaking my concentration here. You should see some of the ships we get handed here. Like their owners, for decorating their ships with heat leech nests would be a nice touch. Hey, kind of breaking my concentration here. unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes me and the new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get Oh! Uh, well, of course. Uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... Helena Chambers. IDSSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. 
I'll need to report to Mask ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Baroon Zealots breached the station's perimeter, and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of their life. Well, just glad I still remember my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool! Is it true that the Nat train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last week. Kinda smell. But I don't smell anything. Um, no, yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those symptoms. A little unfair, don't you think? Three Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted. No questions asked. Been help with some repairs so I can do an emergency jump home. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. The whale's been having brownouts all the I time. Really Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. If you'll excuse me. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people yelling about serpents and stuff. Yeah, it was like, snakes and serpents will eat you all! The stars will squeeze you! Or something like that. I think they need psychiatric help. Is that really an appropriate thing to say to a child? Anyway, I'm fine now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. Oh, she can't do this to me. Got on the radar, Gan. Well, <sighs> Guess you caught some of that, huh? The galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet, everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. Not what, who. How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society. Faction, or cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Uh, real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? We eventually made peace, sort of. Then they just disappeared. They're out there somewhere, or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? Really? <laughs> You must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <sighs> They're basically a bunch of space scumbags. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. 
They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though. They tend to shoot first and ask questions never. But hey, just stepping out your door is dangerous. What happened was a tragedy, of course, but I've had way more good happen in my life than bad. The galaxy's still pretty wonderful. It'll take more than this to make me think otherwise. Ricardo Bosch. I was the lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture or whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now, I just want to get back to work. Where is that woman? Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes. Can you believe that? <laughs> Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. They jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it. So long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon them planet-side, though. And their trigger fingers get much itchier. Another time, then. Hey! systems. Good one.
I'm really no soliciting. Do I need to call security? Well, hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Part-time security officer. The position's very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available. No pressure. We've had some gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave. Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours type of situation. So really, we just need someone to fill the void. Interested? No. Uh, thank you. I appreciate the interest. If you change your mind, please don't hesitate to come back. Have a good day. for one more on your crew? As long as there's a decent launcher aboard, I can make sure all your missiles find their target. I'm not asking for much, just a reasonable share. Why is that? Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. You got yourself a deal. Great. I'm ready to go. I'll get underway.
there. You look like the planet hopping type. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? Plenty. I'm comfortable on a ship, especially in the gunner seat. I'm also a trained expert with shotguns. I have the certification to prove it. Aye aye, Captain. <laughs> I won't overcharge you. I'm grateful for the offer. I've been out of a job since I left the Freestar Rangers. You're short on credits? Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. Well, the last thing I want is you going bankrupt on my account. I'll work for whatever you can pay. I think we'll make a great team, huh? Thanks for giving me a chance, Captain. I won't let you down. Hey, if you're looking for a weapon specialist, I could really use the work to pay off some debts. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. Not having much luck lately. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be right here. Picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making them strong today. You in uh, town for business? Cheers. Nothing like a cold one after a long trip through the space lanes, if you ask me. That seems like we have that in common. Personally, I'm here looking for work. I just quit my job as a weapon tester for mass. Oh, yeah. Plenty of us. There's a whole branch of mass scientific wing called DRIP. That's dedicated to developing new weapons for the UC military. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm actually hoping for a crew gig. Lots of pilots stop by the viewport on their way into town. I figure if I hung around long enough, I'd run into someone who was hiring. I'm billing myself as a weapons expert, sniper tech specifically. Most travelers like having someone on their crew who's good with firearms. <laughs> the settled systems are no picnic. Dang, that's too bad. Well, thanks anyway. If you meet any pilots looking for weapons experts, send them my way, will you?
Good to see you. I really love this place. Couldn't imagine living anywhere else. There's a huge tree in the Embassy District, across from the mass station. Trust me, it may sound dumb, but I think everyone should see it at least once when they're in the city. It's so cool. Or maybe I just love trees. Oh, sure. There's always tons of travel into New Atlantis, so there's no shortage of people to meet. I love talking with the new people and hearing about their journeys. Not to mention, it's also nice and safe. Unlike my brother's job. He's a Marine, and if that wasn't bad enough, he's stationed in Sidonia. He keeps telling me it's safe and how he loves his job, but I just worry about him so much. All I ever hear about Sidonia is how many people get hurt in accidents there. I just pray that he'll be okay. Finally, someone understands. I guess I can only hope that Chris will come to his senses one day. But anyways, I apologize. I didn't mean to dump all of that onto you. I just had to get that all off my chest, I guess. Hope to see you again soon. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something as the customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new girl? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. Well, at the moment, it's what's not in it that's an issue right now. I don't have everything for the recipe. I made a deal with the holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. Very clever of you. Your parents must be so proud. And really? I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else... I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh... with me on this? Yeah, sure. Right. Okay. I totally get it. I can't even believe I suggested it. I can wait the 18 months until they release it. Probably. It'll be fine. Just... If you change your mind, let me know, okay?
You know, I had a guy in here last week ranting that General Shao ought to send the Marines down into the well. I'm usually all for letting folks speak their mind. Most times it can't be helped after a few drinks. But that was just too much. Anybody stuck living in the well, it almost certainly isn't by choice. And things down there aren't that bad. Sure thing. What can I get you? Stop by any time you'd like to catch up. this establishment. He frequently buys chocolate here, though I have informed him repeatedly. It is likely a significant contributing factor to his being overweight. If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. Hi there! Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Thanks. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. Oh, please, take a look. Appreciate the business. Word of advice, steer clear of the well. Although I have attempted an analysis several times, I simply cannot quantify humans' addiction to caffeine. Buddy, it's coffee. Pick one, get out of the way, and let us get Hello, on with our lives. Welcome. Thanks for choosing Terra yeah. Brew. Yeah, sorry. What can I get you? Sure. Corporate policy requires me to state that everything Terra Brew offers is my favorite. 
Certainly. Please take your time. Chercher quelque chose. is New Atlantis Transit, or The Net. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Stuff with that boost pack. Not enough light traffic as it is. <laughs> 